Today's video is going to be on professions. Now, how it may look confusing, tedious, it is actually really easy to do. You just need to set aside the time to do it. A lot of these professions are going to be really important, especially alchemy. So for the people that are confused with profession, I'm going to simplify it for you in this video. If you like my content, make sure to hit that sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. There's a lot to go over in professions, but I'm just gonna simplify you with the easiest way possible. With professions, you can actually do this while you AFK farm. As long as you have the materials to do it, then you can build up your promotions while you're AFK farm. One key note to do that, you want to buy every portable table you can. If you go into any type of material, right, and you go look at the GPS thing, and then you go into profession, and go to the alchemy crafting at the top right and this goes for blacksmithing cooking etc there is a table right here that you can buy i already bought all of them you buy them for crystals it's a one-time thing and you can craft anywhere you don't have to be in town to craft what you want to do is focus on these promotion requests everything else will fall in line if you can prioritize alchemy i definitely would you're going to be doing the processing while doing the alchemy and while doing doing the blacksmithing. The cooking is mainly fishing and you can do that AFK farm as well, but really focused on promoting alchemy. That's your main goal. But it's really simple. It's just about clicks and spending time to level this up. Go into promotion requests. You need to own a piece of material and deliver it to the request. So you go ahead and click on it. Click on the actual image. You go to the GPS location. You can then move to that. You can again craft it if you have the materials. Say for instance, you didn't have these materials, you can then click on the material, go for the search location and go get that stuff. So I go ahead and craft this after I've gathered all the materials. You click on it again, click on the one you have, deliver, promote, and you're on to the next level up. As you see in promotions, when you promote, you can then start crafting the level twos or whatever three, level four, whatever you promote to. Again, your main goal is just at the home tab, leveling these up. Everything else will fall into place. So you might already have some of these things. You can just click on it and deliver, but your main goal is to finish this out. For example, cobalt ingot, right? I don't have any. I click on this. I go to the location. I go to move. Look, I have 21 ore. I'm just going to craft them all. That's crafted. I have seven plus two great success, which is nine. I only need three. I deliver three. That is done. Like I said, professions are really good, especially when you get that master level. For alchemy, for example, it's the gems to put in gear because we're always going to be upgrading our gear, right? There's the moon stones, which apply stat effects to accessories. Galaxy stones, which apply effects to runes. Spell books for attack, defense, and utility, which is huge. Everything's about extra stats. You can do once a week legendary scroll pieces, magician's research logs, which help your summoner, transcendent symbols. The list goes on. You can always sell these two at the exchange center. Cooking has all the food buffs that you can imagine potions if you need them, magician's research logs as well, blacksmithing all the six star weapons and all the accessories that you can get from level seven blacksmithing. I can't stress that enough. I know there's a lot to do in the game, but this is something at least to start after you're done the initial story and when you're going on to area exploration. Don't forget some things that'll also help your gathering and profession progression. Profession progression. Hey, it's hard to say. Make sure you do the lizard man exploration headquarters you get easy materials just by doing afk stuff you send them out on a quest and you get materials it's easy and when you are out on material gathering or fishing make sure to buy enough harvest gloves and pickaxes for your lizard man squads buy the higher rarity pickaxe and gloves for yourself for farming it speeds up the process buy a whole bunch of bait for fishing 
I literally buy like 500 at a time and just go AFK farm fishing for like two, three hours. These are things you should definitely be doing along with creature book farming and everything else, area exploration. If you see a mine node, just go ahead and pick it. If you see some trees, the harvest, whatever. If you need to go take a poop, just go fish for a bit. But that's it for today's video. I wanted to just make this short and sweet, talk about professions real quick. There's obviously gonna be a lot more to professions than just that but literally it's just promoting your actual trades craft what you can take some time to go out and gather materials in the world and head on to be a master if you like this video sub like ding ding bell i got a cool ad with challenge plays coming up be on the lookout for that i'll see you in the next one peace